In this session, we are going to introduce the worksheet to measure COs, POs and PEOs. This is a version 2.1 prototype. This is the third version that we are releasing. Now let's try to, before we get into this, let's try to get into the earlier version and try to see what exactly is being done. would like to summarize that and then we will see the version 2.1. Let's go to the version 2.1. Uh, version one. It is like this, this is a cover sheet. This is the worksheet for individual packet. Here is a packet number, individual answer scripts here. These are the question number two to seven. These are the different options. And uh, we record in each cell, either a tick mark or the cross mark, depending on whether student has scored more than 15% or not. That means the answer is satisfactory or not. We'll try to record this. This is done for all the packets for end semester examination. You can use it for internal exams also. Then this is the sheet where we try to summarize from all the packets the number of students who have attempted, number of students who have correctly attempted and this is the total number of students who appeared for examination and with that we calculate the support and confidence. At the same time we will try to record for every question the which course outcome it belongs to and corresponding program outcome by referring syllabus. This is the sheet that speaks about the all the CATS attainment from different division. Now this is A division, B division up to J. This can be used for first semester and second semester. Same thing can be used for other higher semester also where normally we find only two divisions. So these are the different course outcome. Normally five to 10 is preferred. Then the sum of all these things that gives an average, right? This particular row reflect the average of attainment of course outcome from all the divisions. Here is the one where, okay, again, this is the course outcome. This is the attainment of course outcome through CAT examinations, continuous assessment test. And this is the attainment of all the CEOs from end semester examination. We take an average, right? This is the average of all CAT and ESAs. Then this is the inference drawn for each of the course outcome. Having done this, we record all the course outcome here and we refer the syllabus for every course outcome what all the program outcome it has a mapping we copy the attainment of course outcome on all corresponding columns. After entering for all the course outcome here like this then we take the average of a column and that represent the attainment of program outcome for all the columns we do like this and similar like this this row represent attainment of all the program outcomes then this sheet speaks about the inference drawn then here it is the attainment of peos now this is through the examination whatever the curricular components are there through that whatever that we do internally this is to be supported by external data collected from the market. All the program outcome, whatever that ha, okay, that we already measured, that will copy here. Looking into the POs and POs mapping for a program. And the average of all these things that we will take it here and that re represents the attainment of POs through whatever the teaching learning process that we do internally. As I told you, it is to be supported by market data. Then if required, this can be done grade by student classification. It is up to you to uh, classify this. So this is the version number one. For details, please refer our earlier version of video which is available on YouTube for this version one. Now let's get into version 2.0 here what we are doing is for every student 
for every student right we are recording the mark scored by individual student against this course outcome this is the change it can be done for cat 1 cat 2 cat 3 or cta and sam whatever it is so here it is a one marks scored out of five here is a one mark scored out of five they may come from different examination in this case we are showing for the cat one so it is cat one it may come from different questions so totally in this cat one right the marks scored is two out of ten for course outcome similarly we do it for all the course outcome it is not a question based it is a course outcome based right recording of marks scored by every individuals then this is the summary sheet where for every individual right so this is the cat one total marks obtained is two right maximum marks for this is 10 similarly for cat 2 cat 3 a case cta end semester examination all that things we record and uh, here okay this is how okay we arrive at finally this is equivalent it is equal to sum of all the marks scored by this particular individual student divided by sum of all the maximum marks okay for this this is for a particular course outcome similarly we have to do it for all the course outcome now here okay it's either 0 or 1 0 indicating that the student 1 USN number 1 here not attained this course outcome 1 in this case and 1 indicates it is attained so for all the student that we do total number of student is 10 and uh, total marks sorry here total number of students who are attained is 5 and the attainment is 50 percent now here all the marks that we are okay looking into for individual this is possible if end semester marks right it is possible to record as of now end semester marks for individual student is not available hence it becomes difficult to record this so hope that okay in future the individual marks even at the end semester level also is made known to all please refer our earlier video for this available on youtube for more details having done this similarly right we map co's to po's and try to calculate the attainment of attainment of all the program outcome right it is the average of all these things right then inference drawn then po's attainment from program outcome right and finally grade wise students classification this is version 2.0 now look at the version 2.1 latest one as on 22nd december 2015 again this is the prototype now here for answer booklet which we supply for internal exams CAT we have a marks recording sheet we enclose and here <coughs> it is a CAT 1, CAT 2, CAT 3, CTA any other examination whatever it is end semester examination again one of the constraint here is that okay we should be we should know the end semester marks of every individual then only this can be applied but this is what is required now here again recording is not question wise it is a recording against every course outcome here this indicates that this particular student has scored 2 out of 5 marks this is 3 out of 10 in cat 1 in CTA it is 8 out of 8 of 10 here it is a 2 out of 10 and in some 10 out of 20 totally 25 out of 55 so 55 is at maximum marks for all the examinations based on course outcome one and this particular student this sheet is for particular student he has scored 25 out of 55 it is less than 50 percent so it is not attained now initially it is okay 50 percent we take to say that student has attained or not attained you can vary this for every question and every teacher every course they can have a different things based on where exactly you can set this threshold 
similarly for course outcome 2 3 4 whatever that is there right and this is the total marks scored for cat 1 by individual student right so like this this entire sheet which we based on answer booklet which is given for in internal exams that speaks about attainment of all the course outcome by that individual student for all the course outcome but one of the constraint here is that we should know end semester marks for this particular student if this is not known what we can do is all internal exams cat 1 cat 2 cat 3 we can record like this end semester can be done individually right without knowing which student and measure the attainment of course outcome 1 to 7 whatever it is then take the average of these two and whenever the end semester examination marks for every individual is made known to us hope that day will come in that case this particular prototype fully works in the absence of end semester examination marks details for individual student which student has obtained which marks this is to be known until that we can go for the hybrid model version 2.1 for all internal examination and version 2.0 for end sum examination and we can take average of these two now having recorded such sheet for every individuals right we have a finally 0 and 1 indicating that a particular course outcome is attained by that student indicating 1 or not attained indicated by 0. Then what we do is summary of attainment of course outcome here for all the student say here is assumed that only 10 student now we record from the previous page either 0 or 1 right so course outcome 1 attained by all 10 student is indicated here so there are 10 student there are on 6 student having one entry so it is a 60 percent similarly okay we try to record all these things that speaks about the attainment of course outcome for this particular course then from this sheet it is same as the previous version having recorded having recorded a course outcome attainment of course outcome for all the COs defined for this we try to map this one to program outcome looking into the syllabus and copy the same thing here it is a 60 percent wherever applicable again 60 percent here it is mapping to course outcome one is mapping to B E H so we copy the 60 percent similarly for all then the average of this will give the attainment 57% for program outcome B, 38% for C, 30% for D like this for all the things. This is just an illustration. Then inference drawn and action plan if any that is the most important thing. Then similarly like a previous version here all this color box indicating that PO is mapping to the PO which is defined for the program then wherever it is relevant whichever the course outcome this particular course contributing to there we make entries here C 38% wherever it is there it is 38% B it is a 57% wherever it is applicable we put all the things and E here 61% here is also applicable 61% and in this case D is only here 30 percent my course is okay contributing and uh, so okay it is we are putting it here right and one more is 30 percent here here is a 54 percent and all these other okay the color whatever you are seeing here though these all program outcome are mapping to corresponding POs in the program but my course is it is not contributing to these program outcomes hence okay they are not made entries in this case these are not okay concerned to my course so based on that we take the the average average of all this row and that becomes PO's attainment 
This PO's attainment is through all internal examination. This is to be supported by the external data collected from the market. And this is the last sheet, grade wise student classification. It's up to you how exactly you wanted to classify and all. So the extract of this measurement of attainment of course outcome program, outcome program, educational objectives through <coughs> individual course, it can go as a part of semester closing report. Let me show you the content of semester closing report. Semester closing report for individual course. This is the cover sheet. This is the index sheet. This speaks about the course code, semester, divisions, course teacher name, number of class held and percentage of syllabus covered, department, duration of the semester, topics not covered and the reason, general information, observation, Recommendation for deletion from the syllabus, recommendation for addition for syllabus. In fact, this particular portion is used by Department Undergraduate Committee to revise the content of the syllabus. This is the view of a course teacher. It may be considered by DOGC and hence the BOS or may not be. And this information corresponds to the particular course handled by the course teacher. The course teacher may also give the views recommendation for addition deletion for other courses not taught by that particular teacher which will be recorded in another part of the semester closing report. Here is a listing of POs and POs. You can scan the POs and POs copy and put it here or the soft version. Syllabus copy. Question paper for CAT 1, question paper for CAT 2, question paper for CAT 3, all other question papers including end semesters. This is to be included after the end sem exam is over. Until that, please don't do it. Then every student's details like uh, roll number, USN number, their name, CAT 1 marks, CAT 2 marks, CAT 3 marks, CTA marks, CAM marks attendance out of whatever it is remarks this can be a, a scanned copy of the course file or you may enter the tables here and fill it it's up to you better thing is put the scanned copy which is already there in course file beyond the syllabus coverage and other special note about the activities related to this course can be recorded here with all the details Details of course outcome attainment, right? So initially we were following the support confidence and all, later it may go, there's only one field you may get it, but whatever it is, all the course outcome, whatever that is being attained uh, from internal examination, right? Try to put it here. Inference drawn based on the attainment and action plan. Result analysis for Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3 and Cam, yeah, okay, you can do it and put it here. This speaks about internal exams levels, classifications and all. Detailed list, if at all you have based on the Cam marks, based on the attendance, whatever the constraints are there in the institution, based on that you can put it here. Role and responsibilities in the department and the institution. Nature and description of the work, department, institution level. Current status, what is that you have done, completed, incomplete or it's going on, whatever it is, you can put it here. Whatever the worksheet, this is the very old version of the worksheet, template for clone. There are a lot of revisions that we have done, whatever that is there, if you want, you can put it here. This is a chain request form, general, not connected with the course which I am handling. 
it is the other course in general i wanted to suggest changes in the curriculum my voice i record it here and when this goes to the TOGC, it can look into that one prepare an agenda for the bos interpreting all these views it's up to the DOGC or the BOS to accept my view for any course in the syllabus, changes request, addition, deletion, whatever it is. Now look into this. This is the attainment from taken from the version 2.1, whatever that is being said, course outcome attainment through cats through end semester and average if support and confidence you are using use it if it is only one number then these two you have to merge it then pos attainment and all already we have done it simply copy it here and put it here inference drawn then pos attainment you put it here and grade wise student classification based on the final result you put it so this is how whatever the attainment that we do a version 1 or version 2.0 or version 2.1 everything summary of that we'll try to put it here in the semester closing report and the this will become the black box about that particular course telling all aspect of the teaching learning process that are required for any activities at department level or institution level So with this, we come to the end of the process used for measurement of attainment of course outcome, program outcome, program educational objectives through examinations. This is to be supported by external market data. So this is the prototype. It is up to the every department how best right uh, this is to be implemented maybe a printed sheet paper pencil kind of things or it may be excel sheet or it may be a program which takes all the input and does a calculation whatever it is it is a prototype right you may carry forward the same prototype or throw this and try to implement this using excel sheet or your programs or whatever it is and use it it's a just a concept thank you for any details, you may contact me, Professor Umakan Kulkarni, a professor from Department of Computer Science and Engineering, SDM College of Engineering and Technology, Darwad. My mobile number is 944-8915301. Thank you.